In this video, I'm going to be reviewing and hopefully answering all the questions and concerns you have on the new HyperX Cloud 3 wireless gaming headset. So as far as in your box, of course, you're going to get your headset, you get all your paperwork, you get your USB-C cable, you get your dongle, which is also USB-C, but you also have a C to A adapter, really nice touch there, your detachable microphone, and they included the bag. Everyone was disappointed in the wired HyperX Cloud 3s that they didn't have the bag. Well, here we go. Bag is back. Now, you all know I'm going to start with comfort, but I'm going to go through this comfort and build segment pretty darn fast because we've seen this quite enough and we honestly know what it's offering but slapping it down on a scale looking at the weight of the wireless headset here we are getting 328 grams and it's really not excessively heavy but it's not excessively lightweight either right in between as far as the ear cushions tried and true the same ones we have always seen these go right back to like the originals you know as far as depth i don't have any issues with my ears getting pinched here or anything but yes they are that full pleather so they are going to get a little spicy in there but yes your wicked cushions will fit right onto this they're going to bam tuck right into there if you got the old ones or any of the uh, universal pads will fit right onto this and of course i highly recommend you snag those wiki cushions links down in the description and everything else as far as comfort it's the same i feel like i beat a dead horse on this right with HyperX and their lack of swivel they got a little bit of extra movement in the in the newer ones here the new twos and the threes uh, you know, when I put it on, it's not as bad as the original Cloud 2s back then, right? It's just a little bit looser, but I still have that gap in the back. It's pressing a little bit more up there. HyperX, put swivel on your stinking headset. But other than that, the build, I mean, good mercy. This thing is solid. I absolutely love the build of these. They're just, again, robust. They don't got the hinges outside anymore, so when you're constantly setting them down, you're not really going to get worried about them. Now, this cable's still back here, but it is tucked in there now, so... I don't know, it's still a snag issue, but again, it's going to take something, uh, you know, right there to actually catch that wire. So I don't see it as an issue. I believe the build is pretty solid here as far as comfort. I think it's going to be hit or miss for, again, the shape of your head for me. I can't give the stinking cozy badge. Now let's jump into the stuff that makes this headset exciting, right? Of course, we're looking at the HyperX Cloud 3 wireless. So it is wireless. Now it does uh, charge by USB-C. The cable that comes with it, again, is C to C, but you can also use that adapter over here, your C to A. You can use it again for that charging bit or for your dongle. You have your detachable microphone. As I just mentioned, your dongle, you can either go C, which is nice if you're on PlayStation, or A if you don't have a C port on your PC, bam. And then of course, like I stated, for your charging. Now on the headset here, you have your microphone mute button right up there. It's a clicky button, not one of the ones you press in, really like that. You have your power button, again, your charging port, your microphone port, and over here is your volume wheel. And it's pretty nice. It is continuously rolling, but you got little tactile steps and it's kind of firm. You got like that premium feel. Really like that. Little things like that volume wheel that excite me, right? I test so many headsets, right? So it's just a, a nice premium volume wheel just tickles my fancy. Some other little cheesy thing that tickles my fancy on this headset here is this power button. Whenever you have it powered on, you can just press it, it'll give you your battery status. It'll talk to you, battery 50% or whatever. I don't know. That's just, I've never experienced that on a headset before, right? You can press it and it give you a beep or something like that, or you got a light, but it actually just kind of telling you right there, 50 or 25%. Really like that little touch. So how about the microphone on the new HyperX Cloud 3 wireless here? Now, again, this microphone is detachable and your mute button's on the back. And whenever you press it, press it you get two beeps whenever it goes muted and one beep when it goes active i kind of wish it was voice activated kind of like when i press the like i just press it 90 percent battery in, in this female voice right there kind of wish the uh, mute button like mic mute mic active that would have been a really cool touch right there as far as this microphone though i did listen to a playback back and one thing i noticed it was just uh, there really wasn't much body to it it was kind of phone call Right? I don't have any sound dampening in my room, as you guys know, um, but, but the microphone, I kind of wish it had a windscreen. Right, I, I think that would have really rounded it out right here. Now, if I pull it further out, does that fix it? We can check here. I, I just noticed it dropped down a little bit. Kind of getting Razor vibes, right? Like if I move it, not as much as Razor. Because if I had a Razor mic out here, it would have really dropped. But I've seen it on my graph dropping a bit. If I pull it closer to my mouth, you can see it right here. Now, as far as like background noise... Not too bad. I mean, picked up the claps, claps, but whenever I was 
not picking up too bad right there. But again, I just kind of wish the microphone had a little bit more, uh, a little bit more bass to it, I guess. Maybe even mids would kind of round it out a little bit. But all in all, this is the microphone on the HyperX Cloud 3. So now let's go to talk about sound. And this segment really threw me for a loop. And you're going to see why I'm saying that as I pull out the Cloud 3 wired version. And if any of you watched my review on this headset, the Cloud 3 wired, I didn't recommend it. I didn't like it. I felt like it was just a marketing scheme to slap Cloud 3 and sell it by HP, right? I, I knew the comfort and the build was going to be the same. We expect that, you know what I mean? You can just look at them and tell that. But as far as sound, the wireless version sounded significantly better than the wired version. That's if I was plugging it in via the USB little deal here or going right into a controller just across the board, which is odd because usually a wired headset's gonna sound a lot better. Same with headphones, right? I always state that, we all know that. But coming over here to the wireless one, if I'm on PlayStation or PC playing Diablo, Call of Duty, anything like that, right? The wireless version had more body to it. It had a little bit more bass. It wasn't rumbly or full by me, so I don't think I'm saying that but it just had that immersion, it had that fullness, and that's personally what I look for in a headset right now, right? I don't play many FPS games. Again, Diablo, I play a heck out of that. I play a lot of Destiny still, and I dabble with some Call of Duty, right? So I, I wanna get wrapped up into that game and pulled into it, and with an immersive sound like I was getting over here, I liked it. I felt like this was closer to the original Cloud 2s, right? Which we all talked about, the new Cloud 2s, now, how that sounded, this was closer to the original Cloud 2s, which is a good thing, right? That, that, that's a good thing, because the original Cloud 2s were a great, really immersive, just full and impactful. It's a great sound. That's why the headset uh, sold so well, right? It's that sound that we all can get down with across a story game, an FPS game. No matter what you're playing, you can get down with it, right? You got your highs, but they're not screechy. You got your bass, but it's not muddy. You got those mids that are just there helping everything out. You know, you got dialogue, you got footsteps, you could hear the different sounds of different weapons or abilities and stuff like that. You really got that over here. And again, I wanted to continue using it. I wasn't like, all right, let me move on to the next thing, you know? So I really got that here. And why I was messing with my head is I knew I didn't like these, but I said, okay, I'm not just going to refer back to my old video on these. Let me bust them out and try them again to see if it, maybe I missed something before. Maybe my, you know, preferences have changed. So I took this, plugged it in, mid-game, right? Call of Duty, Diablo, Destiny, cross all of them, and I got those same results. I'm like, how how is this possible, right? It just doesn't make sense because, again, wireless or a wired headset pretty much always sounds better. This is with no EQs, by the way. This is just straight-up stock sound to keep it fair across the board. And, again, it was just lackluster over here. I'm like, what the heck is it? It's like... The bass was really pulled down. I felt like the mids were fighting with the highs over here. You know what I mean? It wasn't horrible, but it was like noticeable better over here. It, it was really crazy. You know what I mean? Now, one thing that y'all might be curious about is the old PlayStation issue. And yes, you did have that. When I mentioned that issue is wireless headsets on a PlayStation where the volume's lower. I did have that over here because when I had this and yeah, I went into the system, did it update. So all the options are different in the PlayStation. So make sure you check that now. Anyways, uh, the, the headset volume was all the way cranked up in the PlayStation and then cranked up here. But the volume was still a little bit lower, not nearly as low as it was on PlayStation 4. So thank goodness they tweaked that a little bit. It is a little bit higher, but noticeably louder when I went over to the wired version. So unfortunately that issue is still there, but no, it is not as bad as that issue was on PlayStation 4. But don't leave me yet. This is what really throws me for a loop with this headset here. And I'm going to pull it up. I pulled it up on Amazon here, which is where I bought my headset. Okay, come on, now I'm throwing apart. Okay, so looking at this headset here, the wired one, by the way, is 100 bucks. The wireless, uh, where is it here? Let me pull it up. Just pull up my order form. 170 bucks, right? 170 bucks for this headset. Let me know, do you guys think it's worth it? I'll tell you my opinion. No, I don't think it's worth it. Why don't I think it's worth it? Because I went through it. It sounds like a pretty darn good product. Which, yeah, it is a darn good headset. But at 170 bucks, it's just lacking, right? 
you need something else in this to justify 170 bucks. Bluetooth? Heck, don't even make it simultaneous. Give me the option just to have it on there. 3.5 port maybe? I don't know, right? You, you got to do something besides try to sell and push HyperX and Cloud. That's what's going on right here. And at 170 bucks, there's got to be something different here. Like, let, let's do it, right? HP, quit milking it, refresh it, innovate it, right? Do what HyperX has always done, right? We, 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 we refresh it. Let's do something bigger here. You know you got the money. You know you got the knowledge. Make it happen. This is a great headset, but no, it does not justify 170 bucks. So anyways, thank you so much for stopping by and watching my review on the HyperX Cloud 3 Wireless. I hope I was able to help you out and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.